One bright and sunny morning, in the depths of a lush forest, a crow sat high on a branch of a towering oak tree. She had found a delicious piece of cheese, and was now preparing to enjoy her morning meal. The crow, with her sharp eyes and glossy black feathers, looked around cautiously before beginning to eat. Not far off, a sly fox was roaming the forest floor, searching for something to fill his empty stomach. As he strolled beneath the oak tree, he noticed the crow with her prize. Instantly, the fox's mouth began to water, and he devised a clever plan to get the cheese. Good day, Mistress Crow, the fox called out, putting on his most charming and friendly expression. How lovely you look this morning. Your feathers are so black and glossy. And your eyes sparkle like diamonds. Truly, you are the queen of birds, the crow, who was not accustomed to such flattery, felt a surge of pride. She held her head a little higher and preened her feathers, thoroughly enjoying the fox's praise. Such a magnificent bird as you, continued the fox, must have the most beautiful voice. I would be honored to hear you sing just one song. Surely your voice must be as splendid as your appearance, the crow, delighted by the fox's compliments and eager to display her talents, opened her beak to call. But as soon as she did, the piece of cheese fell from her beak and tumbled down to the ground, landing right at the fox's feet, quick as a flash. The fox pounced on the cheese and gobbled it up. He licked his lips and looked up at the crow with a sly grin. Thank you, Mistress Crow, he said. In exchange for your cheese, let me give you a piece of advice. Never trust a flatterer. The crow, realizing she had been tricked, felt a wave of shame and anger. She flew away from the oak tree, vowing never to be deceived by false praise again. The fox, having satisfied his hunger, trotted off into the forest, pleased with his cleverness. As he went, he thought to himself how easy it is to exploit the vanity of others, from that day on, the crow was more cautious. She learned to value sincerity, over flattery, and to be wary of those who praised her too easily. And the fox, ever the trickster, continued to wander the forest, always on the lookout for his next opportunity. The moral of the story is clear, beware of flatterers, for they often have their own interests at heart.